Okay, today we are going to load a roll of film into this Sears KS-1000. The Sears KS-1000 is a private labeled version of the Ricoh XR1. So if your camera says Ricoh here and XR1 here, it's the same camera, just labeled differently. This one for the Sears department store chain in North America. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is how to unload the camera. When, you, uh, when, you, when you're getting near the end of the roll of film, most 35 millimeter uh, film nowadays comes in 36 exposure um, uh, rolls. Some comes in 24, but as you're getting near the end of the roll of film, you'll notice the, the film counter here. Keep your eye on that. It'll tell you how many pictures you've taken. As you're approaching the end, be careful as you're winding the film. At some point, uh, you're going to feel some resistance and that's going to tell you that you are at the end of your roll of film. When that happens, don't force the lever. Do not apply force to the advanced lever. Uh, you could rip the film or worse yet, break the camera. So don't do that. Instead, turn the camera upside down, press this button right here and press it like so. That is going to disengage the mechanism which prevents the film moving backwards so that you can now deploy this little hand crank right here and turn it in this direction. You're going to rewind the film like this manually. Uh, the film is all over here on this side of the camera. You're pulling it back over here into the cartridge as you're winding it like so. When the film releases from this side, when the last bit of film releases from the take-up spool on this side, you will feel that. There will be a sensation. You'll feel it. Uh, and you'll feel the, the, um, the, the, the lever sort of free up. And then you'll know, okay, fine. It's all, all the film's back in the canister now. Now I can take it out. And, and you do so by opening the back of the camera, which we're about to do. So that's how you unload the, uh, the, the film. Loading the film, very simple. First thing we do. Uh, by the way, the, uh, this camera is completely mechanical. It does not require batteries. You do not need to put batteries in it in order to load film and take pictures. Uh, it does accept a battery here, uh, a couple of LR44s or a couple of SR76 uh, batteries, uh, but that powers the light meter only. And uh, this camera does, well, the light meter is not functioning very well, so I never use it. Um, I, I use this camera all the time. It, it uh, fires on all speeds. Uh, and the film advances, all the functions work without the battery uh, except for the light meter. Uh, to, uh, but nowadays, you know, you've got light meter, app, light meter apps on your phones and, and frankly, which are just as accurate as these old light meters on these old cameras. So, we're going to open up the back of the camera like so. We pull this up and the back of the camera goes pop. Like, ta-da, there we go. Alright, whoops, now we're going to open up the back of the camera and here. We are going to, oh, shoot, okay, it's not balancing very well, but that's all right. That's okay. So, here's a roll of film. We're going to put the roll of film here. This part of the film, this little, this protrusion there goes down. Um, that part here, this goes up and it will mate with the fork section here, this little fork right there. So you're going to push that up and out of the way. Film goes in. That goes back down. Now you're going to pull this part of the film is called the leader. This little part that's cut is called the leader and you're going to insert the leader into one of the uh, serrations or one of the slits right here. So you'll notice that the bottom of this little um, uh, mechanism here is serrated so that you can turn it with your finger. And the reason you do that is because you want to turn it so that you can get a piece of film into one of these slits. It doesn't matter which slit. You can get a piece of film into the slit. There we go. And let's see here. That ought to do. I'm going to turn that with my... Here we go. Okay. All right. So I can see the film sticking out, just starting to stick out here. So it should be... All right. There we go. All right, so what we want to see is the film flat across the back between these two silver strips, which are called guide rails. So I'm going to hold this with my thumb as I turn this clockwise. No, counterclockwise, excuse me. 
and it's going to no, I'm sorry. Yeah, clockwise. Uh, and it's there we go. And it's going to pull the film flat against the guide rails, and you also see that this part of the film, you've got these teeth, these gear teeth protruding through these perforations, which is exactly what you want. And I've got the film leader uh, inserted in, the, uh, in the, the slits and poking out the other side, and that's just fine. So now I'm going to close the camera and advance a couple of frames because I need to get this film here, which has been exposed to light, I need to move it out of the way and get a fresh piece of unexposed film behind the shutter right here. And I do that by closing the camera and advancing the film a couple of frames. So now notice this is going to, if, I, if I've loaded the film properly, then this will turn as I advance this lever. So let's see here. Aha, uh -huh, you see that? And, and there we go. Okay. And there it is. Super. Okay. That film is loaded and we are ready to go. And that is all there is to it, boys and girls. Okay. I uh, hope you found this useful and uh, take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.